Morning guys, Scott from Sounds Good. Uh, wanted to come in today. We got a project going on. We're not gonna film the whole project for you guys today. I know you guys have been anticipating that Lambo. We're, we're pretty close. We're gonna get some footage up pretty soon on that thing. But uh, in the meantime, we do have a boat in the bay right now. Uh, I think it's like a 27 foot four winds uh, SL242, if that matters. But um, we're doing an amp board for this thing. So we wanna kinda cover one of our amp boards. Obviously it's a different application than like our Raptors and stuff like that, but just all in all, pretty cool project. So figured I'd get you guys some content. We're gonna do some filming today, probably a little bit of time lapse, show you kind of how we address boats. Obviously um, we don't do loads of boats, but we do do them. So it's, um, again, we treat them just like our cars and stuff. Just some little bit different practices here and there, but uh, just thought it was something we, got, we take you guys through. So uh, come on with us. We got a lot of stuff going on, which is why I started outside. Plus I've been trying to be outside because it is absolutely beautiful today. So. Um, yeah, let's go take a ride. I'm gonna get you guys set up for some time lapse. We're gonna run out this amp board. I'll touch base, tell you what we're doing, and uh, it's go time. So here's what we got. We got the amp board all wired up. This is a power supply that goes on here to our benefit. Um, that's gonna be how we're DD1 in these amps here, setting all the gains. So the red and yellow is all kind of a ABYC compliancy. On a boat, um, yellow is our ground cabling, red is our power. So this is all of our fuse distribution for the amplifiers as well as where the power supply comes in. This is our ground block here that distributes everything. And then all of our speakers are connected here. And we actually labeled our amplifiers too. And I know they're upside down, but we got our subwoofer amp. Uh, this is gonna run our speakers on the swim deck. Tower speakers, which are actually gonna run through an equalizer here. And I'll explain that here in a minute. And then we have our cabin speakers. So what we're gonna do right now is we did set up a little test rig. Um, we have our Fusion Apollo radio here. This is a uh, really, really cool unit, man. This is a flagship head unit from Fusion. It's their RA770. Um, four zone controls, dedicated subwoofer per zone, a bunch of auxiliary inputs, like uh, RCA inputs for auxiliary sources. So you can do a lot with this um, controller expandability and just a really sexy looking radio. Um, the equalizer there, this piece was actually something, <clears throat> excuse me, that was on the boat. What we're gonna be doing with this, the reason for retaining this is not necessarily for the equalizer functions, but um, it's got a microphone that runs through the towers. So when they have a skier on the back there, they can actually talk to the skier. So we do need to integrate that. 
And then we got this magic device right here. This is our DD1 HV. Uh, we're gonna be using this to set all the gains on the amplifiers. So the benefit of wiring this on the bench is we can set all the gains, get everything appropriate, and then this thing drops in, we plug some power ground into it, hook up some RCA cables, and we're ready to rip. So I'm gonna get you guys set up here. We're gonna walk you through some of this process here, show you how we set the gains on these, show you how easy it is, to be honest. Um, and definitely an important aspect of the system. Let's see if we can get it all in there. Okay, so we have our phone right now. Our phone's connected through Bluetooth. This is the uh, source that the client's gonna be using 90% of the time on the boat. So we have our DD1 track playing. <clears throat> Those tracks are available in Apple Music, so we know the quality of them is good. Um, so the first one we're gonna play, this is a full range, all bits high. So this is basically a zero bit or a zero dB track, um, which is basically one K is what we're playing at zero dB. So and we're gonna measure the input from the radio, which would be the RCA connection. So just to see where the clipping point on the head unit is. So we can actually take this guy out. Grab one of our RCAs here, plug it in. So we have signal if we can see. Let's see if we can see that here. Let's see if I can stretch these here. So this is gonna be our input from the head unit. We're gonna to go to our cabin speaker volume. So let's see if I can show you guys this actually. Can you give me a hand? Yeah. yeah. We're filming right now. I just want to show them everything. So um, I want to show them the zone control on the radio. So basically what we have, if we go in here, we're going to get four zone control and a global. So we're just going to go zone at a time here, setting gains. If we can catch the DD1 in here too, Sage. So as we go up, we're measuring input of zone one, which is our cabin speakers here. As we go up, oh, got to start the track over. So as we go up here, we're gonna see that we get signal, it's measuring 1K. And then wide open, we have no distortion. So every one of these zones will typically measure the same on this radio. So we are gonna go through and measure them independently, but um, that's what we're gonna expect. Again, we do measure them, but, so once we know our input is good, we're gonna take this, we're at full range right, or full signal right now. <clears throat> I don't know if we can kind of keep this in the shot. My rig is kind of homegrown. So that's a JL Audio SMD. <laughs> yeah, man, don't worry about that. So we'll get these hooked back up. So now we're gonna go back here. So now that we measured input, we're gonna measure the output here. So we have one lead connected to ground, the other lead's connected to our positive of one of the channels. Still have that 1K track playing the gain so as we adjust the gain up here we're gonna see as we go boom we hit our clipping point we're gonna back it down just slightly we're gonna come over to 5 DB down um, just to tune in a little bit of overlap if I can figure out how to use my phone okay so 5 DB down now we're gonna see we're clean again go in there Turn it up till we get that distortion light back, come down a little and we're set. So that's as simple as this process is for setting gains on, uh, on amplifiers. Uh, we should hopefully have a video coming out in a little bit. I don't know, projected time, but we are gonna go over setting gains. It's a class that Sage covers and uh, it's just really, really good information, something y'all should be doing. So we're gonna go through, we're gonna super fast YouTube mode this, set all the gains on these and check back here with you as soon as we get them complete. That's where you cut the camera. <laughs>
So we're going to find our zone two. We know that the output of the radio is clean at full volume. Then we're going to come in here and probably change the stuff on the radio. We're going to go into our main input. And then we're going to measure our output here. Now this one, because we're adding another source here, we have to check between them. So let's get our track plan. So as we can see, our tower zone here, I don't know how well you guys can see this, but our tower zone is still wide open. Um, we have no distortion at full volume on the radio. But now coming out of our EQ, with everything set flat here, down we have main input some illumination colors pretty cool all right so now we're going to measure in here see what we got it's obviously not our volume control it's pretty cool issue because I'm not measuring shit. Let's see. Let's see. It's our main. The so volume is in the middle. So the frequency is irrelevant. We got the signal. So we'll have to go through and find out what our tower adjustment is, but so this looks like it's our I'll tell you what, let's check this out. Yeah. What sounds W S 20, 420. <clears throat> we'll try to find this real quick here on What Sounds website. Bear with us here. Looks like ours is a little bit different. So let's see. We got output on that channel. Looking like a retard trying to get some output on this channel. I guess before I explain to you guys how this works I should probably figure out how it works so let's check that out real quick I'm gonna take a brief intermission back and educated <laughs> so we don't look like retards okay so what we got is that this EQ everything's rubbed off it so that's why we couldn't tell what it was and it is an older EQ so um, 
but just didn't know what the hell it was. Um, what we have, so to go back, we got our tower speakers coming out of the radio. We know that at full volume is clean signal. Um, then we're running that into our EQ. So we're gonna measure it again coming out of the EQ because we need to know that every source is clean. So coming out of the equalizer here, we have a volume control. So let's make sure I'm turning. Oh, I'm sorry, that's the microphone volume. So as we turn this one up, we'll see we have signal, we have 1K. As long as he doesn't go beast mode and turn up all the equalizers to full tilt. Let's see, we'll just measure it for worst case scenario, but. All right, yeah, so if he goes, it looks like if he runs the base EQ all the way up, it'll mildly go into distortion. So we're gonna tell him not to play with that. That's a speaker destroyer. So, but it looks like the voltage we have coming out of here is clean signal, right? So now we'll go from here over to our tower speaker amp. Sorry, make sure you guys are still in the shot with me. Jumping around. Hook our DD1 back up. So, so we have 1k coming out of this amp now which is what we're playing and this is our full range at zero bits or zero db of overlap let's make sure yep so full range all bits high we'll go to our gain we'll adjust that not volume control see we see distortion there we're going to come down no distortion go to 5 db of overlap for these See, we got signal again, 1K. Go up a little bit further with the gain. We hit our distortion point. And we're gonna come down. And now, we are all done. So now all the gains are set on all the amplifiers, using the signal path that we're using. You guys could see how easy that was. Now to make our lives super easy, uh, this whole amp board is gonna just go into the boat. We'll mount it. Uh, we literally have some power ground connections here that we ran through the boat already. And uh, we're going to hook some signal up to this thing, and it's literally that simple. So speaker connections also, I'm sorry. All of our speaker connections are pigtailed out. Those will be on quick disconnects because we like to play with phase on a boat. Um, but yeah, so let's go ahead and get back into it. I'm going to get you guys set up. I'll try to show you some of the boat here as we get this in here. I know we're still doing some cabling right now, but um, yeah, stick with us. We just wanted to cover it for you. So we got our boat playing late, late Saturday night. Um, kind of want to take you through it. Man, we put in some hours. I think we, <laughs> I think between the three of us, we worked almost 45 hours on Saturday. Uh, we just wanted to take you around, kind of show you some of the gear we have on the boat. Again, we're not completely covering the project, but we did want to kind of show you what we had and obviously show you the amp board in and stuff, but let's kind of take you around here. We're still getting things cleaned up, but so we replaced his, he has some of these, I guess they're the Revo series six by nines that are compression horn loaded from wet sounds so we did a replacement back there because nothing else really fits um we do have a fusion head unit on here that apollo that we showed when we were setting the gains and everything so this is a controller for it this is one of the add-on controllers um just tucked it back here so they could control it from the swim deck then as we come in so we did replace all the coax speakers on here so he's got some uh kicker marines down here sound really really good on here especially with some power uh, so we had a pair there Let's see got a pair tucked in here so again pardon the mess we're still getting some things cleaned up so we actually fabricated this pocket sage built this whole pocket the client the pocket that was here from factory just uh, his phone didn't fit in it so we added some accessories like some usb charging this is a usb and auxiliary for the radio gave him a gain control for the subwoofer as well but uh this whole pocket was actually built out of acrylic and then there's some trim in here from when we mount it and stuff it just hides all the hardware but uh, now we can throw his phone in here keys whatever he'd like um got the radio over here again pardon the mess we still got to get everything cleaned up but this is where the radio is hidden so we might cover that one a little more extensively here as we go kept the eq for the mic um let's kind of swap some spots here so another pair of kicker marines down here um, got another spot in the OEM locations here. Again, this whole boat was done prior to us getting into it. We just kind of renovated it, if you would. 
So here's our amp board installed. So everything fit in there nice. So looks really, really clean on the boat. Power supply there is really cool too. So if he's ever got land power available, he can actually hook up and uh, run this whole thing off the power supply. So it also helps charge the batteries when he's sitting. I mean, it's a little overkill, but again, we just wanted to utilize what was in here. Uh, we still have some speaker wires laid out here. We got to go through those. We leave those accessible because we do play with polarity once we get this thing playing. So those are all on quick disconnects. Then those will get tucked and hidden. But um, kept all the amps. All the gains are still accessible. You know, if we had to turn something down, obviously when we set them up on the bench there, we peek them out. But once we get it in the boat and playing, we go through and make sure everything's set level wise so it's all balanced. And then we got some towers up here from Wet Sounds. I think these are their rev eights um, again they're compression horn loaded so they loud man they get real loud so but yep so we're gonna go through we got a little more we gotta get this thing cleaned up obviously and oh subwoofer <laughs> almost forgot the coolest part so we built this enclosure here this is actually it's not much to see but um it's actually a bandpass enclosure it's a fourth order it's got a dd2508 um the port actually we cut the opening here the port's going to slide up in the opening here and then we have a grill that we're going to fabricate to sit over that and trim it all out uh, man this thing gets down that 2508 was probably one of the most impressive woofers we've done on a boat so again it's just all kind of that art of application we always talk about but um we're going to keep going we're going to get this thing cleaned up again we got to get that port trim done um we'll run you guys back through it as soon as we're wrapped up but uh back to work okay boat's done Sage got boat done. Boat done. Boat done. All right, let's show them what we got. So we got um, all complete. We're just waiting on our client. We'll kind of take you through again. Oh, can you turn it down? Thanks, buddy. So, all right. No, it's all good. Go ahead. We're going to get clipped on YouTube. All right, guys. So boat's all cleaned up. Everything's good. Kind of gave you a run through earlier. Let's actually see if we can play some music on this thing. Let's see. That's your warning boat sinking on dry land. So we're gonna go, our Apollo's loading up here. This is a cool, cool radio. Uh, let's gonna see as soon as this thing loads up here. Show you. All the speaker grills are back in. Those are the ones we looked at earlier. Showed you the towers, the back. So again, let's see if we just play some music through this thing. You guys saw the amp rack, let's see. this up here all right. again all the speaker wires got tied up everything's cleaned up looks real good so let's see we got head units fired up all right so hey sage let's see if we can delete his phone real quick That's me. Remove device. We're gonna go discoverable. Go into our settings here. If I can find them. Bluetooth. Oh, we're already connected, so. Bear with us here. All right. All right, we're connected. Let's get some music. YouTube friendly music. No idea what this is, but let's see. This is not what we wanted.
find something. See what this is all about. Just want to play something for you guys. So what this is, real quick too, we'll show you this. So it's really cool. This thing will control four zones and has a global volume control. And you can actually link sub to each zone. We went ahead and just did it as a independent zone so we can control it. But I just got to show you what we got here. Let's back these down. Do our kicker speakers and we can sub down a little bit. power sports i mean even motorcycles what really does them is power like power is everything i mean we even treat cars that way you know it's, it's got to have power and you have all that headroom and you just got that available power everything just sounds so much better you know which is really cool so uh we're gonna complete this one get it wrapped up again we wanted to sneak in a little bit of content i know we didn't do a full project overview on this one but you guys got to take a ride with us so amp board was cool tripped on our faces for the eq and you know, we have a little microphone in here. We figured that all out, and to be honest, we ended up replacing it. The piece didn't even work, so the microphone input wasn't wasn't working. So uh, real life car stereo, which is super cool all the time. But um, put in a lot of hours. But man, this thing was worth it. Hopefully, our client's really excited. So you guys continue to follow. I think honestly, I know you guys have been waiting for it. The next one coming out is gonna be that Lamba. So um, you guys bear with us, and uh, thanks for taking this ride with us. Remember to subscribe, like the videos, drop us some comments, and uh, on to the next one.